Castro, walking along. Matter with her new jeans on and new jersey. Thanks, you didn't get new clothes for the trip. Here we come along. Flight connections, baggage reclaimed. Magazine stand. Now the thing is to make our way from the aircraft through immigration and then down to the baggage claim and then we have to find a train or the underground from Heathrow to South Kensington. We have to find out the line, yes. Now we have to follow the yellow signs, arrivals, baggage reclaim. You can see there's a this is a transporter, travelator, I think it's called. So let's get a follow Maru. Holding on to her new Fiele Raven Kranken, I think it's called. Her new camera, her new jeans, her new top. Watch out for the end. We don't want to fall like last time. A lot of information, and we're just following the yellow arrivals baggage claim. My walking legs going here. Oh, it's down. I'm down. I would have walked past it because I was filming my legs. My daughter's in a bit of a hurry. I've got my glasses on, so I can't really see. Good grief, I'm complaining a lot today. Arrivals to the left. And arrivals again. We go downstairs. It's looking like for the escalator area. And carries on down there. Looks like a train shuttle down there. Some kind of a train shuttle downstairs. Maybe. Looks like. Maybe. I don't know what I'm mumbling about yet. What I'm trying to say is I think maybe it's the train, who knows? Take us to the immigration area. So down we go again. We are, I thought so. It looked like a train. We take the train now. I think we go down. Ah, it is down. Okay. I wonder what the train's for. Tra there must be transfers. Yeah. But anyway, for those of you, yeah, it's next transit. It says on the side straight ahead also. Huh? Arrivals. You want to have a walkway? Yeah. What walkway do you mean? Yeah, but I mean that you can go also with the train. You say arrivals. Escalate such a walkway. And then we take the train like everybody else. It says arrivals. Yeah, you see, transit to arrivals, but it's ah, well, the train. Well, then we must take the train. Yeah. Well, let's take the train. Yeah, exactly. So we are taking the train. What does this sign say? Arrivals. Journey, follow signs for arrivals, baggage reclaim. Transit to Terminal A. Baggage reclaim, customs, passport control. So we there. And we have to make our way to passport control and baggage reclaim, customs, and then exit. And those of you who have got a flight connection, you follow those signs. Over there, you are here. Security, departure lounge, departure gates. Now we're going to wait with everybody else. Are you there, Mark? Let's go watch the train approaching. That's that one. Now let's transit plane. Plane, green train. Yeah, there's train. Transit approaching. Please stand clear of the doors. 
Be quick. Put on close on close suddenly. Connections all terminals. And we close it. Please hold on. Transit is departing. So we are here. This is arrivals, baggage replay, and flight connections or terminals. Please take all belongings with you. This transit ends oh, okay. here. Please leave the vehicle. <laughs> and off we go again. And then we're heading for arrivals, baggage reclaim. And it looks like we have to go upstairs. So just when we get onto the upstairs, I'll pause the camera and until we get up to the top again. We made it to the top of the escalator. Now oh, there's another one straight ahead. Okay. It's quite a steep one. Up we go. There we are at the top of the escalator. Arrivals to the left, right connections to the right. I'm probably not allowed to film here, it's passport control. We've just passed through immigration, it was an automatic immigration, so it went very quickly. We just put our passports in the scanner. Now we're heading for the baggage reclaim area. I was leading the way. Huh? Yeah. Arrivals area, follow the yellow signs. It says arrivals baggage claim that. Well, how do we, oh, we must look here, Copenhagen number three. Yeah, okay, so when you arrive here, look at the signs. And it tells you there's our flight from Copenhagen, PA821, Copenhagen, and it says number three. Baggage claim three to six, that way. So that's how you do that. Lots easier than in Helsinki. Yeah, a lot easier than Helsinki. And they really don't mark the airport there very well. The arrivals area, so I ended up arriving at the wrong baggage reclaim. I had to walk out of the airport and go back in again through another exit. But I finally got my luggage. I hope that they would have changed that by now in Helsinki airport so it's easier for passengers to know where to go and get their baggage. Anyway, here's the baggage hall. Wow, it's very big. And we're heading down to number three. I don't think we're going to need a trolley. We might as well pull our luggage, what do you say? So look at the size of this now that I'm here. It's a huge baggage reclaim hall. Better follow Maro. And our luggage is, well, I don't have to say it again, coming in on number three. I'm doing my best not to huff and puff too much either as I walk. I've noticed on some of the other videos because I've got the camera so close to my face when I'm filming so that I have the height and I can see the display that I'm breathing pretty heavily in the microphone. It's nice to see there are some toilets down here as you arrive down. Very convenient. There's a little Heathrow shuttle area and the luggage is on its way. Maro decided to stop here. I would normally stop down there where the luggage comes from. It looks like Maro's luggage is just about on the way here. She gets to grab it herself so that I can film it. It's happening. Yeah, it looks like your luggage. Mine's always heavy, yours isn't heavy. 
Let's go. So there is a lot of space for shopping. <laughs> you must leave the light. That's yours. Of course, Maro gets to fetch my luggage also. And she grabs it. Well, our flight is over. We've got our luggage. It's time to go through customs. going to find the train, buses, taxis, airport lounge. Now the question is where is the underground? The sign says to the right, we're going to find the underground. Gonna make our way to the underground. <laughs> of course, when you come here, there are people waiting with signs like in any other airport. There are quite a few of them here chauffeurs, taxis drivers, etc. Sign says go straight to get to the underground, which is where we're heading for now. Mado has got one of those handy luggages and wheels. I've got one I pull behind me. The underground still says go straight. Keep going Mado, put the speed on. Put some speed on. And she speeded up. Much better. Just keeping the camera straight. As we pass through a whole lot of shops, car rental agencies. I'm not really seeing any food areas. Saw a few cafes, but not any quick and dirty fast food we can have before we catch the train. There are the tickets over there, and there's the underground sign over there. So we need tickets to South Kensington, and we're going to buy it from here. We just bought these Oyster cards. It's the cheapest way to get around in London, apparently. The card costs five pounds. It's a deposit, five pounds. You get the money back once you come out to the airport and the trip's finished. We put 20 pounds onto the card, and apparently the trip is unlimited. Uh, or it's an unlimited trip in the way that you can pay max six pounds per trip per day. Per day. So once you reach six pounds, all the other trips are free during the day. So, where's the card? It is. It's about three pounds something to get from Heathrow to Kensington, South Kensington, right now. Heathrow Airport, we need to take our train to South Kensington. Not sure whether it's that one. We're supposed to be going towards Cockfosters and that's coming in seven minutes time. It's written up there on the signs. No one is exactly running for it, so we probably are right. It's not 